Good afternoon and welcome back to The Turnstile. My name's Harry and thank you again for joining us on this journey to 100 subscribers. Obviously a big game for football this weekend. At the moment, every single game for Arsenal is a cup final. Every single game has that added pressure as we come into the final nine games of the season. So at the weekend, obviously, we saw us take on Leeds United at home straight after seeing Manchester City take Liverpool apart with a 4-1 win. So that added layer of pressure was on the game after that. Man City laid down the gauntlet and what a perfect way to respond. There was some slight worries coming into the game. Obviously, we heard about the injuries to Thomas Partey and William Saliba. Obviously, we saw Partey play the game, came off early, which I think was great. Arteta managed his minutes really, really well because he's going to be a real integral player come the end of the season. Hopefully, with Saliba, it's not as serious as it's being made out to be. I saw Arteta come out and say the other day that he hopes to see him before the end of the season. For me personally, I really hope to see him next weekend. Um, I think he's a really, really crucial player to have when we go away to Anfield. In terms of the game itself, Leeds looked good. They were in the game for the first 30 minutes, but we wore them down. There was a great attacking presence from, obviously, Trossard, Jesus and Martinelli. I think they worked really well as a three up there. You saw them switch in size. Martinelli was on the right and then Trossard was on the left. Jesus was on the left. Martinelli came into the middle. It, it was a nice rotation up there. And I think it confuses defenders when that happens. At the minute, with Arsenal, we seem to thrive under pressure. It seems that every time that a challenge is presented to us, we manage to come out on top of it. I was very happy when I saw the, the starting lineup that, that Saka was rested. I think, again, a very, very important player coming into the end of the season. He's a young lad. He takes a lot of knocks. Teams double up on him. They kick him about. And he has started so many games. So I think it was really good to see him get that break that he needed. He still managed to get on, get his minutes under his belt, and look really, really sharp. So, again, 10 out of 10 from Arteta in regards to that. It was great to see um, Gabriel Jesus in the starting lineup as well. He really looks like a breath of fresh air into that, that starting lineup. When you think about how we were playing with um, Eddie and Ketty up top, it really just seems to have, have made that dynamic so much better. Like I said before, obviously it's a lot more intricate. There's a lot more build-up play up there rather than just your fox-in-the-box striker. Um, I think, obviously, when we saw the, the penalty, although it was a soft penalty, a penalty nonetheless, um, Gabriel Jesus was just turning defenders inside out, and he really seems to strike fear into the, the heart of defenders. As soon as he picks up the ball, they know that he, he's got pace, he's got power, he's got trickery. They don't really know what to do with him. It's really, really good to see, because I think it will make a, a huge difference to our performances going into these last nine games. He's not the most clinical of finishers, don't get me wrong, but he makes 10 chances for himself. If he only scores one of them, it's much better than having a player that is provided chance after chance, doesn't take them and scores the odd one. If he's making them all off of his own back, then I think he almost has the right to, to miss some of them. He's so hard working and it's brilliant to see. It was great to see Ben White get on the score sheet again. Um, he seems to be having an unbelievable season. I think that he is criminally underrated. He's one of the best right backs in the Premier League at the moment. I'd say Rhys James is ahead of him. Rhys James, obviously solid defender. Can't seem to keep fit at the moment. So looking at the Premier League this season, you'd have to go out there and say that Ben White has been the best right back. I think the only other competition you can really have is Kieran Trippier. But when you look at the defensive records of both teams and where they are in the, the Premier League, it would have to be Ben White that would take it for me. Him going into the, the final nine games as well, his fitness is going to be very, very important for us. Obviously, we saw Tommy Asu. He's been ruled out for the rest of the season, uh, which is a devastating blow. So Ben White's fitness is going to be key because you can either put him in at centre-back and have someone like Zinchenko maybe drop out onto the right-hand side. Um, but not having Tom, uh, Tommy Asu there is, is going to be a, a huge struggle. So Ben White now is the, the only out-and-out right-back that we have who can also play at that centre-back role. So if we then, say, get an injury to Holding, for example, he can cover those areas. So it's going to be very important watching Ben White. This season as well, the resurgence of Granit Xhaka has been absolutely incredible. 
I don't think we've ever seen a comeback like this from a Premier League player ever. I was at the, the Crystal Palace game where he threw his shirt, was goading the fans, and I never wanted to see him play for Arsenal again. At the moment, he's, he's one of, if not my favourite Arsenal player. He has such leadership skills about him. He's hard, he's, he's aggressive, but he seems to have just been able to, to learn to keep his head now. He, he'll G the team up, he'll get in other opposition's faces, but he won't cross that boundary. So next weekend, obviously, we're going away to Anfield, which I think is going to be a bit of a struggle. I've got optimism. I think statistically, um, when we look at it, we are due a win at Anfield. I don't think we've won there since uh, September 2012. But Liverpool, they're a bit of a yo-yo team at the moment. They seem to go win-lose, win-lose. They'll have a terrible result, result and then go and win the next game. We saw what they did to Man United um, when they went up to Anfield. And when you watch them in the, the game against Manchester City yesterday, they seemed to be really good in the first half. It, it seems quite an even game. But in that second half, they just completely capitulated and Manchester City blew them away. So I think it depends on what Liverpool you're going to get on the day. Obviously, they're fighting to, to get into the top four spots. So they really needed the win the other day. Obviously, they've got Chelsea midweek and then they have us at the weekend. So... I can't see them losing all three with the uh, with the points that they need to get. Obviously, they're on 42 points at the moment. You can see Manchester uh, Manchester United sorry, are on 50 points. So they really have a little bit of catching up to do. So the points are going to be vital to them, almost as important to them as it is for us. Now, we could afford a draw when we go to Anfield, but that's not what I want to see. I want to see us go there. I want to see us change the tide, show that this is a new Arsenal, and win that game. If we win that, we're going to be on 75 points. That's massive. We could go into that uh, City game at least 11 points clear of them. If we, ca if we win every game between now and then, we could be 11 points clear come the time that we face Manchester City. So when we go to, into that game away at the Etihad, the pressure's not on us. The pressure's all on, on City. We can just sit back and play for a draw if we wanted to. If we win the game over at Anfield next weekend, I will strongly believe that it is going to be our year. There's still a long way to go. Injuries will play a key part. But like I said in one of my last podcasts, this season, no matter what happens, whether we win or we don't, the memories of this season will be unrivaled. The last minute winners, uh, the goals, the unity with the fans and the players, it's been absolutely incredible to watch. So until next weekend, any likes, comments, subscribes that you can give to the channel would really go a long, long way. And hopefully we can be talking next weekend after an amazing win away at Anfield. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to hearing from you soon.